Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says A chemical industry produces two compounds C and D. The following table gives the units of ingredients P and Q per kg of compounds C and D as well as minimum requirements of P and Q and costs per kg of C and D. So this table shows the units of ingredients P and Q present in the compounds C and D. It also gives the cost per kg of the compound C and D and also the minimum requirement of the ingredients in the compounds. And we have to find the quantities of C and D which would minimize the cost. Let's now proceed with the solution. Now as we are supposed to find the quantities of C and D, so for this we suppose let x kg of C and y kg of D be produced. Now in this table we have that the minimum requirement of the ingredient P in the compounds C and D is 80. So this means if we have x kg of C is being produced and ingredient P per kg in compound C is 1 unit. So we have 1 into x that is x plus now as y kg of B compound is being produced and ingredient P per kg in the compound D is 2 units. So it would be 2y so here we have x plus 2y is the total ingredient P present in both the compounds C and D and this should be greater than or equal to 80 as the minimum requirement of the ingredient P is 80. Now next we consider the ingredient Q. Now ingredient Q per kg Present in compound C is 3 units and in compound D is 1 unit. And the minimum requirement of the ingredient Q in both the compounds is 70 units. So here we have 3x plus y should be greater than or equal to 70. Now cost per kg of compound C is $4 and of compound D is $6. And as x kgs of compound C is produced, so here we have 4x which is the total cost of the x kg of the compound C produced. Now as $6 is the cost of 1 kg of compound D and y kgs of compound D is produced, so 6y is the total cost of y kgs of the compound D produced. And let this be equal to z and this is the cost function. Now we have to find the quantities of C and D such that it would minimize the cost. So we have to minimize z equal to 4x plus 6y subject to the constraints x plus 2y greater than or equal to 80, 3x plus y greater than or equal to 70, x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. These are the non-negative constraints. So this is the problem that we are supposed to solve. As this is the case of minimizing the cost, so we will use the isocost method for this. For this, first of all we will find out the feasible region. So, first we draw 
the graphs of these constraints and before we start drawing the graph of these inequations we have to draw the graphs of the equations x plus 2y equal to 80 3x plus y equal to 70 x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 this is the line x plus 2y equal to 80 and this is the line 3x plus y equal to 70. Now x equal to 0 is the y axis and y equal to 0 is the x axis. Now next we will graph these constraints that is these inequations for this. We first consider the inequation x plus 2y greater than equal to 80. And let's see if the point 0, 0 satisfy this inequation or not. On putting x equal to 0 and y equal to 0, we get 0 is greater than or equal to 80, which is not true. And therefore, we say that the point 0, 0 does not satisfy the inequation x plus 2y greater than or equal to 80 and hence the origin O does not lie in the region of x plus 2y greater than or equal to 80. So, the line x plus 2y equal to 80 and the region to the right hand side of this line which does not contain the origin represents the region x plus 2y greater than or equal to 80 and this should be above the x axis and to the right of the y axis because we have the non negative constraints x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. Next we consider the inequation 3x plus y greater than or equal to 70. Now putting x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 in this we have 0 is greater than or equal to 70 which is again not true. Therefore the point 0, 0 does not satisfy the inequation 3x plus y greater than or equal to 70. And hence we can say that the origin O does not lie in the region 3x plus y greater than or equal to 70. So, the line 3x plus y equal to 70 and the region to its right hand side but above the x axis and to the right of the y axis would be the region that represents the inequation 3x plus y greater than or equal to 70. Also, x greater than or equal to 0 is above the x axis and y greater than or equal to 0 is to the right of the y axis. And so, the region common to all these constraints is this shaded region, that is the region A, B, C. So, this shaded region is the feasible region. Now, in the next step, we will assign some constant value to the objective function z. So, let the objective function z equal to 4x plus 6y be given a constant value, say 100. Then, we get a line 4x plus 6y equal to 100 or you can say 2x 
प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन वन नाउ वी विल ड्रॉ अ लाइन पी वन क्यू वन टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस इक्वेशन वन सो वी हैव ड्रॉन दिस लाइन पी वन क्यू वन रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस इक्वेशन वन इन द सेम वे वी आर साइन अनदर कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू टू बी ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन जेड सो लेट ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन जेड इक्वल टू फोर एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई वी गिव इन अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू से थ्री हंड्रेड सो वी गेट अ लाइन फोर एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड दैट इज टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी नाउ लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन टू एंड वी विल ड्रॉ अ लाइन पी टू क्यू टू टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस इक्वेशन टू दिस इज द लाइन पी टू क्यू टू विच रिप्रेजेंट्स द इक्वेशन टू एंड दिस लाइन पी टू क्यू टू इज पैरल टू द लाइन पी वन क्यू वन नो एज दिस कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू हंड्रेड इज लेस दैन दिस कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू थ्री हंड्रेड सो वी विल मूव दिस लाइन पी टू क्यू टू फ्रॉम पी टू क्यू टू टू पी वन क्यू वन पैरल टू इट सेल्फ दैट इज वी विल मूव द लाइन पी टू क्यू टू इन द डिक्रीजिंग डायरेक्शन टूवर्ड्स द ऑरिजिन सो दैट वी ऑप्टेन अ लाइन विच इज नियरेस्ट टू द ऑरिजिन एंड हैज एटलीस्ट वन पॉइंट कॉमन टू द फिजिबल रीजन दस वी ऑप्टेन अ लाइन पी थ्री क्यू थ्री विच इज नियरेस्ट टू द ऑरिजिन एंड पासिस थ्रू द पॉइंट बी ऑफ द फिजिबल रीजन Now, as you can see, this point B is the point of intersection of the lines 3x plus y equal to 70 and x plus 2y equal to 80. So, on solving x plus 2y equal to 80 and 3x plus y equal to 70, we get The value of x as 12 and y as 34. Thus, the point B has coordinates 12, 34. And so now we can say that we have a line P3, Q3, which is. nearest to the origin and passes through the point b with coordinates 12 34 of the feasible region so we can say that the optimal solution Are x equal to twelve and y equal to thirty-four, and the optimal value of the objective function z equal to four x plus six y is given as four into twelve plus six into thirty-four, which is equal to forty-eight plus. 204 which is equal to 252 so now the optimal value of the objective function z is equal to 252 or we can say that z is minimum at the point b with coordinates 12 34 and hence we can say that for a minimum cost
ट्वेल्व के जी ऑफ सी एंड थर्टी फोर के जी ऑफ डी मस्ट बी टेकन सो दिस इज अ फाइनल आंसर दिस कम्प्लीट्स दी सेशन होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन